these kids really work you out a little bit, but I wouldn't have it any other way. 56-year-old John Doss is passionate about teaching karate and was initially apprehensive about having to go through open-heart surgery to correct a defective aortic valve. He knew the traditional surgery involved a very large incision to expose the chest cavity and a lengthy recovery period. Looking for an alternative, Doss went to the Detroit Medical Center for an evaluation. At Harper University Hospital, he met Dr. Ali Coffey, the DMC's chief of clinical cardiothoracic surgery and one of the nation's most respected cardiac surgeons. Coffey, who has performed thousands of open heart surgeries, determined Doss was a good candidate for a minimally invasive procedure to replace his defective aortic valve with a new one. Gradually, fibrotic tissue forms on the valve and becomes scarred and the calcium will build up on the scar and uh, gradually the valve becomes very tight so very difficult for the heart to push the blood through the valve. It's called aortic stenosis, a condition in which the valve becomes constricted and does not function normally. As a result, the body's organs receive an insufficient supply of oxygen-rich blood and blood may actually leak into the lungs causing shortness of breath. With minimally invasive surgery, as you can see with this patient, the incision is much smaller than the traditional approach, and there are other advantages. One is the fact that you do less damage and trauma to the muscles and the bones of the body. Therefore, the recovery is faster. A limited amount of bone is cut. That means the incision is more stable, with less chance of incision separation. There is less bleeding, a lower chance of infection, and a faster recovery. I was in the operation and out before I knew it. Doss was in the hospital just four days when he got good news. Doctor says, well, Mr. Doss, uh, if you want to go home, if you can get up and walk around, you can go home today. I was out that day and doing laps around the nurse's station. I was, I just felt good. Within a month, Doss was back up to speed teaching karate again and generally feeling much more energetic. I was up on my roof today looking where water was coming in through the windows and stuff. I think I got to get up there and work on that. No problem. Visit us anytime to learn more or to make an appointment with Dr. Ali Coffey at Harper University Hospital. The DMC. We just think it's a better way to get better. I'm Emory King.